All right, Brian Brunk, Messiah College head wrestling coach. We're going to work on a couple scramble positions here. Um, traditionally, some of our guys are getting caught in a, you know, an offensive maneuver. They should really finish, but they're getting caught in scrambles where the, uh, the def defensive guy or counterattacking guy is able to funk out of it, hit some different um, scrambles, and, and come out on top. So we've been working on a couple different positions. First position we're going to talk about is we get into like a high C or a head outside attack. And the guy goes to what I call a crackback position. We hit here, and a lot of guys go right to this scooting position, where he wants to drop to his butt. He's controlling his own hips pretty good. He's first of all, he's trying to score. He's trying to scoot around behind, and second of all, he's trying to make sure that every, by, by any means necessary, he's going to stop me from covering his body with my inside arm. Okay. So right now, already, Coach Vogel is blocking with his knee. He's underneath me blocking with this arm. He's doing everything he can, keeping his chest tight, everything he can to stop me from covering here and coming out on top of a two-point takedown. All right, so we're in that crackback position. What are some things that we can do right away to stop him from scoring and put ourselves in a better position to score? The first thing that I want to say that we can do is we want to be isolating his ankle, the leg that we already have. So if we're here, and we get to this position, and we can get down to that ankle. And the higher I'm able to lift that ankle, the harder it is for him to move his hips. If I get that ankle all the way up here, his hips are stuck on the mat. He is not gonna be able to scoot around behind, okay? So like, at varying levels, I can get that elevated. I probably all the time can't get it this high, because he's fighting hard. But if I can get to that ankle and start to lift it a little bit, already he's having trouble scooting around behind. So right now I've stopped his motion. Okay. Now I'm going to start to look for ways that I can score. Okay. First thing I'm going to do, pressure into him. I'm going to put my shoulder in. Now look, all the time I'm keeping my hip low, my inside hip especially. Okay. I'm keeping that hip low so that he can't elevate my hips, take me all the way through, um, grab a leg and start to funk roll, anything like that. I'm going to keep that hip isolated. Okay. Pressure into him, his hips are getting... Um, squarely planted in the mat, and now I'm looking with my inside hand to cut across. If I'm able to cover his body, I'm gonna score a takedown. Now, first thing I want to do after I cover is I want to get from parallel to perpendicular. Okay, if I stay parallel, some guys are gonna continue to, um, you know, roll around here and do some funky stuff and hit a step over or whatever. So right now I'm parallel, and quickly I'm gonna get to perpendicular, get my legs over the top of his legs. The whole time I keep that ankle because I can start to finish in different ways if I can control his ankle, and he's just less mobile, okay? So we'll go to the other side. We're gonna start from just a half speed shot. And he hits that crack back position. Now look, immediately he's trying to scoop behind. I need to get to an ankle and elevate that ankle as much as I can. I'm gonna pressure into his body, my hip covered ball, and then if I can, I'm gonna swing my right arm Cross his body. Get to this position and I'm going to get perpendicular. And look, I kept his ankle in a really awkward position. There's some stuff we can do from there if we keep that. All right, um, I'm going to show one other little trick. Because that's, that's all well and good. But against a good guy, I get in this position, I isolate the ankle, and he is going to shove this knee up into my armpit so that I can't get that arm out. He knows I want to cover. He's not going to let me cover at all. So we've done this little trick to isolate this other angle and make it so that he can't continue to cover. What will happen here is as I try to hop over, he'll continue to block with that. He'll block with his arm, he'll block with that leg. I can't get my body to the other side. So I'm going to reach with my inside hand and back hook his ankle under the leg Outside, hook. I'm gonna hook that ankle right here. Then I'm gonna give some more, more pressure in, and right now, I've stopped his other hip from elevating. I've actually isolated his knee as well. It allows me to hop high, hips to the outside. Okay, and when I get to this position, keep those ankles, elevate the ankles, I'm gonna to start to expose his back. Now the whole time, look, as I elevate his ankles, his right foot is behind, and that right hip is down. If I elevate here, 
I've given him a whole other series of moves. So as I elevate, I keep this hip down. Start to, start to uh, put him on it towards his back. Create a nice little uh, handle right here. Put him towards his back. Now I can do a few things. If he bails out, I'm going to turn towards the legs. If he doesn't bail out, I'm going to sit all the way to his head with this hook real tight. Okay? I'm going to try to put him on his back to the point where he's pinned. And now he's let go of anything that he's fighting with, with his upper body, and I'm going to turn back to the swim inside. Okay? I don't like turning towards the, swimming towards the head because it means I have to let go of what I'm controlling on the legs. And a real good scrambler, if I let go of those legs and turn towards the head, he may still. If I'm here and I've exposed his back and I let go of these legs, I have all kinds of control here, and turn towards his head, he may still come out on top here. Because he's a good scrambler. He's a great man awareness, good kinesthetic ability. And if I let go of that and turn towards his head, it's just not the highest probability scenario, okay? One more time, taking you through the back hook of the ankle. Here. Back hook the ankle. Swim, uh, jump high. And I almost went through there. If I go through, you're all right. Just stay here, continue to attack. Okay, even if I go through here, go ahead. Even if I go through here, I'm going to come through. I'm going to continue to attack. Okay. If I do a little better job of elevating those ankles, he won't be able to take me through. Here, back hook in his ankle. Drive into him first, then go high. Now here, look. Bring his toe to his back of his knee. Okay. Elevate the ankle to expose his back. Okay. First thing I'll do is I'll sit really close really to his back until I feel like his arms are no longer really in control of my lower body. Then I can turn in. I'm going to limp my right arm out. And attack here. I'm trying to stay between the legs if I can. But if not, I'm right here. I'm going to be still going to have to take down. Okay. 